All right, so as you read by the title, I'll be making a subwoofer box for the Can-Am out of fiberglass. Since I couldn't find, the first time around, I couldn't find anything on YouTube about how to make it. I kind of figured since I have this opportunity to do it the second time for my cousin's Can-Am, I'd go ahead and film it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of like my setup as far as how I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and make it. Uh, it's kind of be similar to how I did it the first time, but I think this time it might be a little bit easier than the first time around. So let me show you guys. So this is kind of what I have planned out. So this is the one that I made originally for mine. Didn't really come out that great, but I mean, it works. And again, it's the first time ever making a fiberglass box for this. So, I mean, it came out all right. But uh, for, for this one, well, first, the way I made that one was I actually used the, the box that the subwoofer came in. So what I did was I masked off with uh, scotch tape, like painter's tape, I masked off the outside of the box and then I fiberglassed over that. Uh, this time around, what I'm gonna do is do it from the inside. So obviously this is open here, so I cut out the bottom piece and I'm gonna make it separate. So, I mean, I'll kind of figure out how I'll put it together, but I'm, I'm gonna do it separately this time rather than all together in one box because the only problem that I ran into doing it the other way is once that, the actual fiberglass was done, trying to take off the cardboard all on the inside, trying to pull on it was a little bit of a pain in the ass. So hopefully this time it'll be a little bit easier to do it. So kind of to give you an idea of how this would go in, I'll just go ahead and mock it up real quick just to show you guys. This is more or less what it's going to look like. Now I do have some foam as you can see right there because I mean we'll see how this one comes out but like I said with this one it didn't come out perfect so it was rattling all up against this part on the bar. So I kind of put some foam under there just to kind of quiet it. Quiet I, I already don't like talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. <laughs> I don't even know how to talk because I don't like. That rattle sound, that shit would be real annoying. So, so yeah, hopefully this one will actually come out a little bit better than my first one. So that's kind of the plan. Hopefully it actually goes, goes well. So. All right, so as far as materials go, I just got some brushes, cheap little brushes from Home Depot, some fiberglass resin and mat, and uh, that's pretty much it, honestly, to make the box. All this stuff, you could just go to like Home Depot or probably Lowe's might have it, but I know Home Depot definitely has them. Uh, this isn't like the automotive stuff, but I mean, it, it works fine. Uh, I have heard though that with this it's a little bit more harder to work with and it tends to kind of want to uh, warp but I mean it's it's workable I haven't really had any issues with it so I mean if you want to just order like from Amazon the actual automotive fiberglass and resin that's fine but if not you can just go over to Home Depot and buy some of this stuff so yeah
right, so quick update. I got about three layers on here. I, I let it dry overnight. Uh, so it's pretty much ready to go, ready to peel off from the box. Well, almost. Uh, what I got to do now is trim this, clean it up, and then I can go ahead and take the box off. Um, you will need at least three layers before you pull it apart or else you run the risk of um, warping the box. So you want at least three layers. Now I know there are other fiberglass mats that are thicker so you, you probably get away with like two maybe. But I'm not quite sure. I didn't really say how thick this one is. Yeah, I'm not sure how thick this one is, but it's not it's not that thick. So I mean, I bought that at Home Depot, like I said earlier. So, so yeah, if it's thicker than than that one, then you won't need as many layers because at at the end, the whole box is going to be about five to six layers. If you have thicker fiberglass mat, you could probably get away with like four, five maybe. But uh, yeah, so once I have that done. I'll go ahead and move over to this. So I'll do the bottom piece. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do this first. And then once I have that done, I'll have it dry. So in the meantime, I'll go ahead and move over to this, trim it, clean it up, and then I'll pull the box. Um, and then as far as the resin, I didn't mention earlier, but as far as the resin goes, it's recommended to do about four ounces at a time. So you're gonna want a cup like this, or I mean any kind of plastic cup, that has measurements on it because I tried doing it earlier with um, with just a solo cut but the actual resin and the hardener would actually burn through the bottom of it and then you can't really gauge how much you're really putting of both hardener and and uh, resin so you're gonna want to do four ounces at a time and for every ounce you will need uh, 10 drops of the hardener that it comes with so in this case, four, four ounces will equal to 40 drops of this. So you gotta make sure that you have proper measurements or else this will start getting all hardened in the cup and then you're just gonna be wasting and throwing away resin for no reason. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm actually gonna go, get, go ahead and get started with that. And then I'll move over to this. And then at that point, I'll go ahead and peel this apart and start joining both pieces together and then after that pretty much finish it off with the last three layers and that's it oh and another thing that i forgot to mention i also bought this piece of wood hobby board from Home Depot as well so I'll be using these I'm gonna cut these up in pieces I'm gonna have them on the bottom piece something like like that so I'll have three three pieces laid out like this so pretty much what this is gonna do is it's gonna help support the bottom part so it doesn't have to be wood it could be cardboard it could be plastic I mean the whole purpose of having pieces like this is mainly to, to give the the bottom of the box some curvature so it strengthens it and it doesn't flex as much so that's pretty much the only purpose to having this I chose wood just because I think it would be better and cleaner and look nicer too but
So I just got finished taking this apart. So this is how it's looking so far. I try to go ahead and do this as straight as I could. All the edges, as well as where the sub's gonna mount up on. I ended up using a uh, angle die grinder. Cause, um, I don't have anything else to cut it with, so I just use that. I know it's a it's a bit messy. You get fiberglass all over the place, but that's all I have to work with, so fuck it. But yeah, that's how this is looking out so far. Then I got the piece over here drying up. So once this, I'm gonna let this dry up some more. So, once it's a lot harder, I'll end up doing the same thing, getting the, di the, the angle grinder and going ahead and taking off all these edges. And then after that, I'll go ahead and join both pieces together. And then I can start cutting these into pieces to fit on the inside. And then three more layers. And that's it. And that's it.